some of the data, data from the CAMEO trials, which are epidemiology trials that are looking at what are patients doing, how has migraines affected their life, but also prescription patterns. And there is a lot of data out there that shows that, you know, if, if it takes, a, if it's a struggle to get the diagnosis of migraine, once you get the diagnosis and you're given a prescription, what happens then? And it's very interesting to me that many of our patients go and they might fill a triptan, but that they don't refill the triptan. And if they don't refill the triptan, then what happens to them? And we know that one, that triptans are primarily coming from primary care providers, that they're the biggest prescriber group out of other um, medical groups, and it makes sense. They're the largest group of medical providers out of all the general specialties that you have. And so it, it goes back to not only what the patients are feeling, but what then the, the providers going to next. And it seems that it's possible that if they're not working or they're not refilling re, um, their prescription, that maybe primary care providers are then starting to write medications for opioids or for butalbital con containing compounds because they want the patients to feel better and there's a lack of education and maybe that's really not the best next step that there's there maybe is something else that they should be trying. So this is a huge area of unmet need. We know that in this country we're facing this huge opioid epidemic. Mine is that we know that opioids and butalbital are not good treatments for migraine in that we can actually worsen the underlying disease by using these types of medication. So there's an area where, where, where you have the patients and you have the clinicians feel like we have something but maybe we don't like it because there's side effect or um, it's not as effective as the patient was hoping for and we're not sure what else to go to. So this is where that gap is for new acute treatments to come in and you know, be something that patients tolerate well, that they can try if they failed potentially a triptan, and that having more than one other option might help push that prescription rate for opioids down.